Right. Welcome back to Addicted to Real Estate Radio. Larry, why don't you tell us what we're going to be talking about? Boy, we had such an argument during during the during the commercial break over what was coming up that we have to actually have a boxing match. What was the question exactly, Jeremy? Uh, we talked about the main topic being buy and hold right, versus sorry. fix and flip. What That's should you do? Right. right. So I'm so, buy and hold. So, and you are? I'm buy and hold. No, I'll, I'll do fix and flip. I'll take that side. Let's try that again. I'm buy and hold. I'm fix and flip. And I'm the referee. Okay. And round one is coming up right now. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so I will advocate uh, the fix and flip if you're in a situation where you are you want to replace your job, you want to replace your income, then fix and flip is a great strategy. You can make you can make some Boku bucks finding uh, finding property that's well under market va- value, fixing it up. As Jeremy's being there. beat down in the corner with his, with his lack of enthusiasm. Well, come on, Phil. I'll tell you what I did. Take him down. So take him down. Fix and flip, please. You end up selling the asset at the end, and you're just as broke at the end. You might have some cash in your pocket, but Uncle Sam's going to come and take about 40% of it, and you just sold off a beautiful asset that you could have kept, sat on for 10 years, and sold for three times what you bought it for. Jeremy's on the ropes. He's on the ropes. Okay, okay. Yeah. However, you can make... Boatloads of cash. Let's say you're, you have a you have some consumer debt you need to pay off. How do you do that with a rental property? You're gonna pay off your consumer debt at hundred dollars a month in cash flow, two hundred dollars a month in cash flow. Oh, he's you need chunky back. money. He's back. Chunky money. Chunky money. So do do four fix and flips. Make twenty grand, thirty grand a fix and flip. Thirty, you know, times four, one hundred and twenty grand. Is that does that get you out of your day job? One hundred twenty grand. Ooh, we got your Donald Trump cover. doesn't. Cover. What what'd you say, ref? <laughs> Don't be talking over my time. I'm trying to punch him out here, man. I'm giving him a combo. Oh, right? no, the ref's getting hit. Does Donald Trump buy skyscrapers and then flip them? No. He gets a piece of them, he sits there, and he collects the rent from them for the rest of his life. If Jeremy owned a cow farm, he'd slaughter all his cows. You know what I'd do with them? I'd milk them. I'd milk them for the next two decades, okay? I'll tell you, I like steak better than milk, so I'd rather have the steak. Okay, well, how do you eat cereal in the morning? I don't eat cereal in the morning. I eat eggs. I'm on a diet. <laughs> I got to admit, I don't, protein. I, don't, I don't drink milk either because, you know, man is the only animal that drinks the milk of another creature. Well, he's off the top man of the topic. Man and I'm macaroni. Cut. <laughs> no, this is like, you can tell both contestants are really tired right now. They can barely pick up. They can barely pick up their arms. We're talking about. We got we got Every, 15 about, seconds left in the round. Everybody knows that buy and hold is the way to get rich. Hey, macaroni's got some sound effects. Macaroni awesome. just ended the argument. <laughs> All right, ref. All right. No, actually, it's I really tough. Should... It's really tough for me to take the side of fix and flip. Wait a minute, you're supposed to be in the corner right now, getting instruction. Yeah, you you got you got to be tending to that black guy. Come on, let's go to round number two. Ring the bell. All right, ring the bell, macaroni. Oh, and they're coming out fighting. Here we go. Oh you know, man, fix, I'm gonna go with fix and flip. There's one thing I like about fix and flip that's that's really a good motivator and makes you feel very accomplished is when you take a property that's all beat up, torn up, smells like cat urine. And all of a sudden, you get a beautiful property with granite countertops and beautiful fixtures, and be able to sell that to an end user, and just the pride of accomplishment of taking that that ugly piece of junk property and turning it into a gem. And I, I think that it definitely does something to uh, to help your self esteem. Somebody, somebody pushing Phil back. He's pushing Phil back. Somebody give me a tissue. I'm about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you take a messed up property, fix it up, and keep it, and enjoy the benefits of your hard work for the rest of your life? Because you know tenants will tear it up. They'll just tear it up. They won't appreciate it. Not the kind of tenants I buy. You buy tenants? (laughs) I knew what he meant, though, because I agree with him. I, I'm even hitting you on that one. Okay. Tenants are never a problem. Fight, I'm not right? even, I know. I'm not even in the argument. I gotta be. I, you go ahead. I'm sorry. I had, I had to get in there and you know push these guys apart. You have to make sure that you check your tenants out thoroughly and you put them good people in your houses and then you make sure that they have you over for dinner once every three months. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. But if I sell a property, I can always drive by that. If I buy a property, fix it up, and sell it, I can always drive by that property with my kids and say, "Look, kids, I used to own that." And then drive by the next one and say, look, I used to own that. And then, Oh, wait, that's an argument for your point. I'm sorry. I don't know about you. If I see a guy driving <laughs> by my... In face. If I see a guy driving around my property a lot, I mean, I'm calling the police, you know? Could be a child molester or something. 
I got kids in the back of the car. Come on. <laughs> oh, I oh. see it. This round's over. <laughs> what kind of bell is that? There, there we go. go. Yeah, that's better. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you guys, you guys have anything left? You need to keep to keep going, or, or or am I gonna? I got a little bit more. All right. I don't want to. Wait, 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 wait. Gotta wait for the bell. Oh, Gotta start the round again, man. All right, Macaroni, hit it up. Go for it, Phil. When I'm driving around Philadelphia neighborhoods with my students, with the people I'm mentoring, and with my offspring, my son, Stone, I don't want to go see that house, Stone. I bought that house for $50,000 and I sold it for sixty-five. dollars No. I want to say, Stone, you see that house? I bought that house for fifty. dollars We still own that house and today it's worth $225,000. I'd want to encourage my son to invest in the Philadelphia market, to beautify it, and to constantly be bringing it up from the ashes to become one of the greatest cities in the world. And Jeremy is down. No, no, no. One. No, no, no. This is easy. Two, easy to combat this. Ready? Three. I don't want to own and keep anything in Philadelphia whatsoever. <laughs> so fix and flip Jeremy is the best sprint, strategy. Up and he's I can buy away, a property. I can resell it. I can make money and tell Philadelphia I'm out of here. <laughs> Let me get something straight. You're a radio host in a show in Philadelphia, <laughs> but and I you miss- refuse to invest in the host city? No, I oh. invest in the suburbs. Oh, look at I like the suburbs. I like the suburbs. I think that the host with the most co-host <laughs> may remove one of his co-hosts <laughs> after this show. We're sorry, Philadelphia. Is we it? apologize <laughs> to everyone out there. I'll tell you, I don't invest in New Jersey. This radio show hits New Jersey, too. Uh, let me just make one more point. I think when it, you're in a fight and one of the people in the fight insults the audience of the fight. I think by default, I should win this fight. And the bell has to be rung. And that's it. Buy and hold wins. Technical knockout. Yeah, technically. Technical knockout. (laughs) I'll concede, you know. I wish you took fix and flip because I don't really like fix and flip. (laughs) I knew that going into it. That's why I gave you that Because you wanted to win, right. I got it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So Truth if you guys, is, if you guys are out there, the real wealth in this business is made when you when you buy and hold. Yeah. You can't. You you can you can get rich fix and flip, but you can't get wealthy unless you buy and hold. 